people! This is Fisher12, and we have another exciting Black Ops 3 Zombies video for you guys today, as always. And today, I wanted to talk about Zombies DLC and Brass Knuckles. Recently, Treyarch released a game update that added Brass Knuckles as a new melee weapon, but to multiplayer. Now, this isn't the first introduction that we've had with Brass Knuckles in Black Ops 3. We saw them with Ron Perlman's character, Floyd Campbell, in the Shadows of Evil trailer that was shown at Comic-Con this year. So, if we take that and we fast forward a few months to the game's release, a lot of people were confused why Treyarch would show these Brass Knuckles in the trailer, but not actually have them in the game. So, then fast forward another month, and we suddenly get this game update that adds a few new melee weapons, one of which, as I mentioned, were Brass Knuckles, and I think this added even more confusion as to why they were added eventually, but to multiplayer and not zombies. Well, to be honest with you guys, I still think they're going to be added in zombies, and I think they're going to be added in the future DLC. There's a, a Call of Duty video that was uploaded about four months ago that I've been keeping in my back pocket, just waiting for the right subject to bring it up, and I think this is it. Now, I'm not by any means the first person in the community to discover this video. I don't want to take credit for that. I'm not saying that. Like I said, this was uploaded four months ago. Tons of people have already seen it. But the interesting thing is that it wasn't uploaded to the Call of Duty YouTube channel, it was uploaded to the Omaze YouTube channel, and Omaze is the charity platform that Activision uses to run its Call of Duty endowment campaign through. And this year, Omaze's grand prize was a lucky donor was going to get the chance to become a zombie in Black Ops 3 DLC. And now this video I was talking about had Ron Perlman telling viewers why they should donate, and in the video he starts to list off his favorite ways of killing zombies. Let me tell you the way I like to kill zombies. I like ramming them with a rocket shield, fooling them with a monkey bomb, gouging them with a flaming sword, finding a pack of punch, or just putting on some brass knuckles and greeting them with the good old fashioned uppercut. And as you just heard, he named a number of ways to kill zombies like a rocket shield, and a flaming sword. Now remember, this video came out a month before the game was released, before we got our hands on Shadows of Evil. I don't think it's a coincidence that he named two ways to kill zombies that actually ended up being in the game. Ron Perlman knew this stuff was going to be in Shadows of Evil, or the other possibility is that Treyarch just made the script and told him to read it, but either way, these lines were reviewed and improved. So Treyarch knew what was being said, and if there was something false or wrong, I feel like they would have taken it out of the script. So if Treyarch willingly and knowingly released those spoilers to us, I think that serves as proof that they will in fact give us hints and clues about future spoilers, even, even with direct context. I mean, if you look at this, he, the Rocket Shield and Flaming Sword were two items or two ways of killing zombies very specific to Shadows of Evil that technically were big spoilers, if, in my opinion. So Ron's comment about putting on the brass knuckles and giving a nice uppercut, I think that justifies the idea that Brass Knuckles will be in Black Ops 3 Zombies eventually. When will that be? I'm not entirely sure, but I would love to debate it with you guys in the comments down below. So guys, by all means, let's start the conversation. When and why, or if not, if not why, do you think these Brass Knuckles will be added into Black Ops 3 Zombies when and why or why not. But that will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's video. So if you found it helpful, if you found it useful, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new here looking for more Black Ops 3 content, make sure to click on that subscribe button. I upload Monday through Friday. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And take care.